In this video, we're going to look at how to post a supplier refund in Sage50 Cloud accounts. In this example, we're already in suppliers and we can see our first supplier on the list. We've got this negative balance indicating that we're £25 in credit. To post the refund, you pop into bank accounts, select the bank account that the, the refund is going to be received into. So in this case, we'll just leave it set to our bank current account and then we're going to choose supplier refund. Just make sure you have got the right bank selected. In the peer box, choose your relevant supplier. We can enter the date of the refund. We'll just leave it set as today's date. You can pop in a check number or other reference. So let's say they've paid us online. Uh, we pop in the amount that we've actually received. So we've received the full refund. And what we find on the bottom part of the screen is it will list the outstanding credits and also we might have deposits which are still outstanding as well. So we've only got the one credit note. We can see it's outstanding for £25. And then in the refund column, we simply type in the amount that's been refunded against that transaction. So the full £25. And then we just tap save at the bottom and that's it done. If we now pop back to the suppliers list, bike security, we can see it's got a zero balance. And if we pop into the activity, you can see on the activity that we've got the original invoice, the payment against it, the credit note that was raised, and we've now got a PR transaction, a purchase refund. And that's the process complete.